I thought I was going to go into like engineering, maybe graduate work, but I had no idea I wanted to do medicine until a biology professor said that I should look into it. And I thought he was crazy at first because no one in my family was a physician. And I, ha I just knew that, you know, it was hard, a lot of work, long hours, etc. And I didn't think I would be able to take it. But um, I actually started to volunteer at a local hospital and I thought it was pretty neat. And so um, he strongly encouraged me to uh, apply to medical school and I did and uh, never looked back. So I ended up going to Brown, which is also in Providence. And I guess he, he saw something in me that I didn't really see. Um, and after I started to think about it, I realized that it seemed like um, an interesting challenge and something that I would enjoy very much since I really liked um, the sciences and reasoning through things and you know dealing with people. And um, I basically, I thought about it a lot. It was actually a difficult decision to make. Um, I neglected to tell you that I originally started my undergraduate studies in music, um, and then I switched to chemistry, and then I decided to go to medical school. What? I was expecting to be handed a list of like 10 patients and you know, to be told, go see them, write notes, write orders, take care of them, and without any backup. But it wasn't really like that. We rounded together. Um, our attending was good in that he helped us out with some of the work and, because basically we don't really know the patients. Um, so today my, my primary job was to see most of the patients with the team, uh, take notes, find out what, why they're here. Um, I'm taking responsibility for about four of the patients and so you know, I went back after and kind of read through their chart, learned a little bit more about them in depth, figure out what's going on. And um, by tomorrow morning, you know, I'll be seeing them on my own and writing notes and writing my impressions and plans. So um, I guess today was sort of a good transition day. But uh, I guess, like I said, it was a little bit difficult for me since I wasn't here for orientation. I didn't know where the charts were or how to look up labs and everything. So it's just kind of a little bit flustering, I suppose. I mean, for me, I pretty much finished a lot of my clinical work at the beginning of 2008, and I had a lot of time off because I front-loaded my schedule and because I knew I was getting married, th thinking about moving, etc. cetera. Um, so it's been a while. I was, I've been on the beach. I've been on vacation. I missed orientation week, so I didn't really have a formal orientation. I uh, didn't really know. I still don't even really know where I'm going in this hospital. Um, so. I was a little bit nervous yesterday when I came home at 5 p.m. and I had, you know, a stack of mail about a foot high, 100 emails to check, and I kind of wanted to chill out before I started today. Um, so, like I said, as soon as I stepped foot on the floors, the smell hit me and I knew I was back in action and uh, there's no turning back now.